So why are ducks in our blood so strongly? The most fun you can have, even more fun than shooting ducks, is taking care of them. The great gift is just to be able to go. Always look at every day, even if the ducks aren't flying, as a privilege. Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. Greetings from Ducks Unlimited TV. I'm Ashley Ward. In this special episode, we explore the partnership of two brands, Mossy Oak and Ducks Unlimited. They are different in many ways, but each share the goals of preserving waterfowl and wildlife and passing on the traditions of hunting and the outdoor lifestyle. Mossy Oak founder Toxie Hayes hosts this hunt with former DU CEO Dale Hall at Toxie's Place in Mississippi. The men enjoy a great duck hunt and discuss how the partnership has grown, why it is important, and how hard work by everyone ensures a bright future for wetlands and waterfowl. Coming up next on DU TV. We're really looking forward to the end of the season this year because Dale Hall was going clear his schedule and come down and hunt with us. He did it a couple of years ago. Yeah, two years ago we came down and the, the weather didn't quite cooperate. <laughs> we had some really uh, heavy storms and uh, we tried hard. The birds didn't want to cooperate and uh, we spent some really good time together. And so we wanted to come back down and uh, the weather cooperated this time. We got uh, had a beautiful morning and so did the birds. Uh, what a show. I have a saying, I said, God only gave us so many sunrises and I don't wanna miss one. And that's what I said in response to getting up so early all the time. Every time I go duck hunting, uh, whoever I'm in the blind with, I turn to them when that sun starts to crack above the horizon and I look at them and I say, thank you for sharing your sunrise with me. Because each one is a gift and each one is a reminder that we're not here to kill something. We do enjoy the hunt, but we're here to be reminded of all the wonderful treasures that we were given by the Creator. We're here to be reminded of how important those personal relationships are, that life is worth nothing if you don't have friends and you don't have a good time together. When you get in a blind with somebody, you're gonna find out what they're like. When one bird is coming in, you're gonna find out what somebody is like, if they're a giver or if they're a taker. Take them, Dave. If they're a giver, they're gonna say, take them, take them, take them. But if you're in the blind with someone that's a taker, you're gonna hear, bang, take them. <laughs> and when you're in the blind with Toxie Hayes and Bill Sugg, it's just two true gentlemen sitting in the blind wanting you to have more fun than they're having. And each of us trying to make sure that the other enjoys it more and has a deeper memory coming out of that blind. I just think every day is a miracle and uh, we should approach it that way. And honestly, I've never had that conversation with Dale, but if you go with him, you'll see real quickly that every sunrise is extremely special to him. A lot of people out there that do the hunting scene uh, are conservationists and, and they do, do a good job, but others are driven by being a conservationist and then enjoying hunting. And Toxie is one of those. Uh, Toxie Hayes and the folks at Mossy Oak fully understand that without the conservation, without giving back, we can't enjoy the hunting 
and the pursuit that we love so much. Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited. Browning Firearms, the best there is. And by Ducks Unlimited's Ducks Expo at Texas Motor Speedway, celebrating everything outdoors. The first afternoon, uh, we still ha had some ducks to harvest. We went to a spot not too far from where we had hunted that morning, but the wind had shifted and was blowing out of the west. And, and we had a, a lot of ducks, particularly uh, ringnecks, came into our blind and, and they just had a fun shoot. Here they come back, guys. Get ready, come, 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 get ready. You know, the Ducks Unlimited and, and Mossy Oak things probably a little deeper than Ducks Unlimited and Mossy Oak. It's about Mossy Oak and ducks. I mean, from the very first days in the 1980s, uh, everybody's, and rightfully so, promoting to deer. Uh, you know, by far the largest market. But we were the first ones to ever do something specific for a waterfowler. And then when you get a company like Mossy Oak and, and Toxie Hayes, who understands that you have to give back and a, a corporate image and a corporate responsibility is more than just the bottom line. It is what are you gonna leave as a legacy? We're wanting to promote and support and communicate much more than duck hunting. From my earliest days, I was taught by Mr. Fox, if we don't take care of what we have, then we won't get to go hunting. Uh, I've seen the days when we almost didn't have any ducks to hunt, or there were so few, they were cutting back on limits and cutting back on the season. The resource has to come first. But at Mossy Oak, where we're trying to make people understand the most fun you can have, even more fun than shooting ducks, is taking care of them. You know, a lot of people try and go figure out how can I have a successful place to hunt. Well, when uh, folks like uh, Toxie get on a piece of property and understand you got to give the birds a place to rest and feed and take care. And, and I love to refer to it as the donut. Uh, you know, the donut is you hunt in the surrounding area and in the center of the property, you leave that as a true refuge area. We have a big rest area sanctuary place. We're lucky enough to have gotten a place that has about a 200, 250 acre wintertime <laughs> reservoir. You know, and we do plant a lot of food, but it's just an ideal destination for them, and we never hunt it. And frustrating to the kids sometimes, and some of my friends, that we don't bust up in there and hunt it, but I just feel like, you know, our ducks are, they can't just stay in one spot. We get a big population there, they're gonna go and our neighbors have better hunting and we have better hunting on our smaller ponds. Um, but clearly, having a, if you have a place and you can, you know, bring into play your own rest area and the kind of rest area that they really like and use, it will make a huge difference in your ability to bring ducks back to your area every year. In duck camps and around campfires, people like to talk about the good old days as a time when everything was better. Well, for our natural resources, that's just not so. Just a hundred years ago, many of North America's wildlife species were in grave danger of extinction. Thriving markets for wild game, population expansion, demand for plumage, all created a situation that was sending some of our species to the edge of extinction. One popular game bird, the passenger pigeon, was lost forever. And at that precarious point for wildlife, it was sportsmen who stepped forward to demand change. In 1934, the first federal duck stamp provided much needed funding for wetlands conservation in the middle of the Dust Bowl era. In 1937, the Federal Aid and Wildlife Restoration Act, or the Pittman-Robertson Act as it's now known, allowed an excise tax on firearms and ammunition to be sent to the states for wildlife conservation. Ducks Unlimited relies on hunters and fishermen at the grassroots level, 
promoting wetlands and waterfowl conservation through events all across this country. The 14 million acres that Ducks Unlimited has conserved are in many ways a direct result of the sporting community rising up to meet wildlife and especially waterfowl challenges head on. Please take a moment to go to ducks.org to learn more about how you can be a part of the movement to conserve tomorrow's waterfowl today. DU Insights is brought to you by Mossy Oak Properties. Find your favorite place at mossyoakproperties.com. DU TV is powered by Browning Ammunition. The best there is. Mossy Oak Properties, America's land specialist. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. And Plano Synergy and Zinc Calls, a champion in every call. Winter of 2018, 19. Called it, especially in the South, called it the duck season that never was. You know, we just didn't have the weather, and it takes the weather. We're fortunate in our little part of the world is not in a major flyway. And you know, we don't pound them. We do a good bit of hunting, but we take real good care of them, and uh, they show up even in this kind of weather. So we've had some decent hunts, uh, given the kind of year it was, but for most of the people I know, it was the worst year in their lifetime. When you get to share whatever time you have with friends and family, the, the relevancy of success, you know, is not always measured by how many ducks you kill. It's about the experience, the relationships, and, and the memories you create along the way. So it's not just the management of the species and planting duck ponds and building blinds and you know, uh, being and having a consciousness about management of waterfowl is something you're supposed to do. I mean, we have to do it. And not only do we have to do it, we should learn to make it the most fun thing that we do and teach others to be that way and to see that. Another dragon of Vendale right there, but if he gets close, he's fixing okay. right there, no, right, right. Right there, right there, don't move. <laughs> Right there. We have a whole new generation that needs to understand what it's like to go out and get grass stains on your knees, a little poison ivy on your arms, little scrapes on your legs from climbing trees, and a little mud on your butt from sliding down a riverbank. We need more of that out there, but it won't happen unless we stay focused on getting the young people out to enjoy it. Because I fully believe the future is in great hands with our young people. But we have to make sure that they're equipped with the knowledge of what we do, why we do it, and what's in it for them and their society. From a business standpoint, our relationship with Ducks Unlimited is one of the more satisfying and rewarding things we've ever done. Uh, we all need to take responsibility and try to introduce and encourage young people to get involved and again, as Tachi says, enjoying their best life outdoors. All right, so let's talk about late season duck calling and even wise ducks and what you're trying to do. Now on this hunt with Toxy, Mr. Bill, and Dale, uh, they're hunting the last couple days in Mississippi. The ducks are smart. They've been hunted a lot. You can hear the guys blow their duck calls loud when the ducks are at a distance, just to break them to them. But when those ducks are coming to you, and this is, this works extremely well. I use it, to be honest with you, I use it almost all year long when I can, is I like to mix in a lot of different duck sounds into the calling sequence. You see, when most ducks encounter duck hunters, the majority of the time, they only hear a mallard call. But when they encounter live ducks in the water feeding in a marsh, flood crops, uh, timber or whatever, there is a variety of ducks on the water and they're all making their, their own sound, their own, their own language per se.
And so you got mallards. You have mallard drakes. You have teal. You have widgeon. And when you mix that all together, team calling, you don't want to be real loud. All you want to do is do everybody do something a little bit different. And you sound like a live flock of ducks on the water instead of guys duck hunting. Different than what majority of people do. Very, very effective late season. Try it this fall and I hope it works for you. Remember, call them close. Duck Talk with Fred Zink, powered by Plano Synergy and Zink Calls, a champion in every call. DUTV is brought to you by Native Nurseries, hand-selected, hand-grown plants for wildlife, Higdon Outdoors, quality, customer service, innovation, that's Higdon, biologic, scientifically proven wildlife products. Closed captioning for Ducks Unlimited Television is brought to you by Mossy Oak Bottomland, the official timber pattern of Ducks Unlimited. An active gun dog requires proper nutrition if you're going to expect performance in the field. Food is warmth. Food is energy. Food is endurance. A balanced diet of proteins and fats is important. Fat burn is energy. It promotes body warmth, but it also contributes to weight gain. An overweight dog underperforms. Good body condition can be observed. Take a look at Deke's waistline. Nice and trim, and we can almost see the outline of his back rib. During cold, hardworking conditions, you may need to increase the dog's consumption of food. Feed once a day, about 30 minutes to an hour after exercise. The food will be digested overnight, and it turns to energy at sunrise. Float the food with water. Dogs simply do not take in enough water. It enables the dog to digest the food faster and turn that into energy. I hear about dogs quitting on the hunt, simply stopping and giving up. They've hit the limits of their endurance. Either because of lack of physical conditioning, they're not in shape, or they've simply run out of energy. Nutrition is important for any athletic performance. Make sure you're fueling with the best. Duck Dog with Mike Stewart is presented by Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. You know, it's kind of hard to put into words what it feels like to be out here this morning and every morning and watching the sun come up and seeing a new gift and a new day and uh, being able to watch the resources. Some birds are already starting to fly. The blood's pumping. We're, we're getting excited here. So it's gonna be a great day. You know, a lot of people have asked me over time, why? Why do I love duck hunting more than I love the others? And for me, it's, a, it's like the dance. <laughs> You're calling to try and see if they'll come dance with you. To see them cut, and dip, and weave. To watch the birds work is the real objective of the hunt. It's always pretty special. But for me, this is the last weekend of the duck season that I will be the CEO of Ducks Unlimited. I could not think of a better place to spend it, better people to spend it with, or a better mission to try and advance. Man, I just don't know how you can be any more blessed than to be around all this, you know, and, and know, uh, you know, here we are hunting and taking this, but man, what we do for them and what we love, it's just, it's such a great life. To me, you're like the man that runs the vineyard. You come out here and you grow all of this and you make all the great wine, keep only a few bottles for yourself and the rest is for everybody else. You know, but it's bigger than him, it's bigger than me. It's even bigger than Ducks Unlimited, every person out there, whether they're a DU member or whether they married Mossy Oak or some other camouflage, that they feel empowered to do their part 
and not just leave it to you know the wildlife organizations. Right. That everybody that loves to hunt, especially duck hunt, that they will take some matters into their own hands for conservation. If it's just one place you have, or you hunt your neighbor's flooded, you know, bean field or whatever it is, that everybody will be conscious of taking care of these wondrous creatures we get to hunt. It's about the relationship. It's about being able to enjoy the creations that God has given us to not only enjoy, but to take care of. And Dale always puts that in perspective at the beginning of each day. When, when you're able to do that, in my humble opinion, right, right, you truly understand right. what duck hunting is about. Thank you, Toxie Hayes, and the entire Mossy Oak family for all you have done on behalf of conservation. And a special thanks from the Ducks Unlimited family to Dale Hall. We will miss you as the day-to-day -day champion. Your passion, leadership, and big heart for waterfowl, waterfowl habitat, and the stewards of conservation. Thank you for supporting waterfowl and wetlands through the efforts of Ducks Unlimited. Please visit us anytime at ducks.org, and thanks for watching DUTV.